Hey folks, welcome back. It's turn 51 and we're entering the classical era as the Han, another of the diplomatic cultures. I talked a little bit about them at the end of the last episode, so if you're interested just in a really brief overview, you can go take a look there. Um, should have timestamps and everything. So we're going to push forward here and we're kind of entering hostilities with the pink player that we're now butting up against. Uh, everyone else we're at peace with, uh, in part perhaps because we're so far away from everyone. Ah, I see Black has also taken the Axumites. You should know that this game, um, the duplicate cultures are allowed, which is a new feature in the beta uh, of the game, the George Sand beta. So that's, if you see duplicate cultures, that's what's going on. And um, I'm actually going to move this guy over here because I want to place an outpost down. So we're going to go ahead and go straight into Sanding Army. We're going to reallocate some people to science as many as we can uh, so we can research swordsmen as quickly as possible i'm gonna go ahead and buy that maker's quarter and i also have access to paper mills um how much should i get here yeah okay i think that makes sense so the paper mills, um, they give you paper, so they give you some science when you pick up the leverage that's lying around the map. Um, and they do exploit, what's it called, uh, production. So they're, they're honestly not bad. Diplomatic cooperation with the Memoriams. I'm actually fine with that. They're so far away from me. Uh, so it would be, I don't really have any particular bonuses as the Han to um, generating leverage. So getting some extra leverage from somewhere else seems pretty useful to me. I can claim a wonder. I might actually do that. Oh, Temple of Artemis is still available. These other ones, maybe not as useful this game. Pyramid of the Sun is not bad, but it's only on one territory. Statue of Zeus... I suppose I could have a decent number of alliances this game, but Let's see, Mausoleum. Don't really care as much about that one. I mean, science is all right. Might House of Alexandria is not as useful on Pangaea and Colossus of Rhodes. Extra militia. Don't really care. I like the health regen and combat strength though. The statue could also be good this game if I get several alliances. Hmm. What's the likelihood of me getting alliances? I feel like it's pretty high, at least with these guys. See if we can... Yeah. I'll renounce that. Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm just gonna go for Temple of Artemis. Uh, just because that gives me that extra combat strength on unit and acts as another holy site. Which will be helpful. Okay. Up here. I'm gonna go ahead and attach here. Yeah, those are both fine. And down here, we are just idling, waiting to get access to swordsmen. Thought they might attack me there. We'll go ahead and retreat. We'll make that demand. We're going to placate them. Hoping I can just snipe their stuff as, as quickly as possible. They've been pretty slow to... I'd say all the cultures have been pretty slow, especially the black player up here. They've really not done that much. Silver wouldn't be terrible. How much... Uh, I'm trading with both of these guys, right? Yeah. How much would it be for the silk? 74 maintenance. 
That's way too much. Okay, that's fine. I don't need to trade with them at the moment. Okay. We're going to grab the minus 30% religious district industry cost. That'll help us build uh, Temple of Artemis a little bit faster. Uh, so it's recommending right here because it's adjacent to the embassy. Uh, so it's prioritizing that influence. But yeah, as I suspected, there are some uh, better spots perhaps to be building this. So I think right there, that plus 15. Plus 17 right there is not bad. Just a slight bit of food, but that's fine. Alright, one more turn for Swordsmen. Don't know where the best outpost location will be. I suspect it'll be like right here. Okay, let's see what I can do with this. That'll be river on every angle that he can attack me from. Okay. Love when they do that. I'd like to claim these grievances here. That'll help me get my diplomat era stars. And up here, um, we're going to go Hydrology, Trade Expeditions, Craftsmanship, I think, for the uh, emblematic units. Go ahead and upgrade all these guys. Though honestly, I might not need the emblematic unit. Yeah, that would have been amazing territory for me to have a fight. Oh, still might be amazing. Not quite as good. We do have a tenant, and they're all available. Okay, let's do this fight first. Attack! We're gonna have to stop those reinforcements from coming in. Let's concentrate our firepower up on this side here. quite get to that location, which is too bad. Should be fine, though. I'm worried about the amount of damage this guy will take from blocking. Could be pretty sizable. Okay, it's fine. More than manageable. I'm gonna take these archers out. Get rear attack there, perfect. I'm getting zone controlled by Shotalai, I imagine. Yep, they're there. So Shotalai have um, plus two or like two range on their zone of control. So you gotta kind of watch out for them. They can have some pretty unexpected battlefield effects if you're not paying attention. And I, I do forget about that effect every once in a while. Also very good against the uh, the Mongols, I would say. Okay, so tenets. Shelter the oracles would actually not be terrible. I have a fair bit of um, mountain. And just because of the size of Pangaea, having extra influence is actually really valuable. What else would be good? Hunt the Infidels is not bad. Smite Unbelievers, um, extra experience isn't bad. Seek Wisdom, fine. You know, abstain from intoxicants is a typical choice. Um, be, virtuous as, uh, be Virtuous as Water is obviously really good as well. Resolves a lot of stability issues for a pretty long time. 
it's, it's really quite strong. I'd argue it's too strong. Reject the Luxury could actually be pretty decent for me this game as well. Um, I do have a lot of Luxury resources. How many do I have? Let's see one. I guess I can look up here. Uh, actually, no, because I, I can't see the number of deposits that I have. It just tells me the number of accesses. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus 50 gold. Is that really worth it? That would give me plus two influence on mountain compared to like one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll have seven, eight, nine, three, ten, eleven. 12, 13. No, I mean, that's not that great either. I suppose none of these are, like, amazing at the first tier. I'm saying from Intoxicants. I do have quite a bit of forest. It does feel like a very traditional pick to me. Um... Let's go to let's go for the Jack's luxury. I feel like I don't have the opportunity to pick this one very often, and I, I do like it. Um, so we'll, that'll help me generate some. Uh, eh, I'm gonna refuse that. That'll help me generate some gold, which I I do need. All right. We're going to want the Temple of Artemis soon. The city's also going to need some stability. Maybe I'll build the Temple of Artemis up here. These two cities are totally fine with their stability at the moment. It's a pretty nice paper mill there, actually. Good with that one, too. Okay. <laughs> I can't afford a thousand gold, so we'll go with authorize, even though it can have some bad effects later. We won't want that iron. And I'm going to go ahead and plop Temple of Artemis up here, I think. Put it in a spot that kind of bridges the river, since um, I find one of the key things kind of constraining my development is often I don't want to build districts on a river because it gives multiple outputs. Whereas the um, most of the wonders uh, work everything, so you don't have to worry about that effect quite as much. So let's do that. So we'll pull these guys back to heal. Don't know where they are attacking me. Ah, I see. Okay, interesting that they have swordsmen up here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, I already made those demands. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna placate them. Go ahead and make this attack. Just wanted to diminish their forces as much as I can. All right. So we are going to take um, religious hostility because this is going to give us grievances against people, which means that we can renounce them for um, uh, leverage. Except against that player. That player we're going to continue to make demands of. How am I on tech? Hydrology coming up. I need to increase my tech output. Let's buy that paper mill. Let's 
store it there. Okay. Some vulnerable units here. Since they just retreated last time. Go ahead and make another attack. Just keep damaged units off the front line. Okay. I should have just focused on the shield ally here. Just need to break through this front and then those archers are dead anyway. There we go. higher combat strength there, just from adjacency and other effects. Okay. Let's reduce the amount of damage we're going to take from our melee units as much as we can. Our rear attack. Rear. Rear. Am I from Boston now? Rear attack. Humanitarian aid. Um, yeah, that's fine. Continue demanding those. Black feels friendly towards me. Orange is reverential. They want a non-aggression pact, sure. Alright. I'm gonna need to make a couple units up here, I think. That's a lot of food there. Yeah, I need to start building some of this uh, infrastructure. But let's get some swordsmen first, just to deal with these rotting units up here. I wanna grab that leverage. I'm gonna come down here. Probably time to disband these scouts. For manual battle, we're gonna go right here, I think. Ah. For some reason, I was thinking they couldn't access that tile. It's okay, I'll just defend until um, they were themselves out of turns or out of rounds. Alright. Just giving me even more demands, which I really don't mind. Okay. I'm going to disband this guy. Go on expert here. I'm going to put some people on science, because I do feel the hurt a bit on science. like to attach here in the not so distant future. Probably attach this place as well. I've got some really good things I need to build first. Infrastructure is the word I'm looking for. that way is actually a little shorter. So we're gonna set up to hit Napata, which has the pyramids built in it, which will be great for us. That's going to reduce some of our costs. Okay, send these guys out. So the uh, pyramids um, reduce the cost of districts, basically. Eh, that's really unfortunate. Let's see if we can negate that. Probably do that. Prefer not to lose people here. Also claim another wonder. Yeah, we can sign humanitarian aid with these guys. I'm not worried at all about black. I honestly don't know what they're doing. It's like they're trying to do a one city challenge or something. Alright. Buy out all this stuff. Where's the 
There's the copper. How am I doing on my stars? Almost have one Diplo star. Which is honestly more than I expected. I forgot to sign a treaty with this guy. Let's grab the trading charter. That'll give me access to the ebony and the coffee there. Also like to get an outpost down over here. Uh, that'll give me another um, dye and some more saffron. So that will come in handy, I think. Alright, well, these guys are positioned, so next turn we will declare war officially. Let's hit them with a placate. And we'll do the same on the next turn. Give this a quick save. Okay. Achaemenids are suddenly aggressive towards me for some reason. Eh, doesn't matter. Let's hit them with another placate, and we're going to declare war. So, it's, eh, train's okay for sieging here, but I don't think they are, have any defending armies. I think I killed all of them, or they're all milling about in some random location. I'm going to keep my units kind of concentrated on this side. I don't see any need to split them up over here. I'll let them come to me if they want to attack me on that side. Great, I'm already get in the city. Here we go. These guys will have high ground on me if they... Oh, or they could go to the low ground where they don't have any advantage whatsoever. Not gonna worry too much about being efficient here. But if the Sartre could kill them, thank you so much. Okay, so there's the pot up. Alright, up here. Yeah, black is just like living in some kind of bizarro world. Do they have like, yeah, you know, some um, some of the AI have that trait that makes them just build one city basically, but they don't seem to have that. Seems fine there. And here we'll be attaching right there as well. I'm gonna go ahead and buy artificial reservoirs, and we can move these people back off industry. Yeah, we'll just let that complete its current list for now. One more turn on craftsmanship, and then we'll grab philosophy, because we are going to want that city cap, and we're going to want those research quarters. We need to start building those soon. Arms deal with the Morians. Um... Yeah, I really don't mind if they build some of my stuff, to be honest. That gives me a little income, if I'm not mistaken, if they build my things, so. Okay, now we can upgrade these archers. Not quite enough for that one. We have army wages. Um, you don't need to worry about that at the moment. You can stay idle for a minute. And you keep chasing those guys. How much for an outpost up there? 326. 
I already go up to the next era, which is with the uh, Bulgarians, but we are not going to do that quite yet. In fact, we're going to attach right here. So that's another nice uh, water mill there. I don't think it makes sense anywhere else. Not water mill, um, paper mill. Gonna want both of those. Okay. We're in a pretty good position here, I would say. Um, obviously, you know, Diplomat SARS, hard to get, but... Yeah, a little behind on the SD SARS. I do find SD SARS get uh, pretty challenging if you're not picking SD cultures. And even when you do pick SD cultures, they can be a little difficult. I'm gonna go ahead and drop... Uh, actually, right, I can't drop DMZ on him. Don't see anyone on Hattusa. Let's try uh, Mikane, because I think they're going to be pretty aggressive. So they probably have some units just lingering about, and I just want to try to generate a little bit of extra leverage wherever I can find it. There are better uses for it, but I, I don't have them right now. But you can kind of use them to zone units, basically. Uh, particularly when you're not at war with people. How much was it for this territory? Yeah, I don't have quite enough. It's fine. Let's see. Probably want the gold there. Ah, they have... Oh, that's black. Okay, I was worried that was pink for a second, but it's the black player who is friendly towards me, so... Debate and... Okay. Okay, that's an army there. I think this is fine. It's a little risky. They could bring in reinforcements, theoretically. But I think my terrain advantage is pretty solid here. Make sure I have a sufficient number of units deployed up top there. Yeah, so these guys are direct fire, which can make them a little challenging to use at times. I don't really have any good shots with most of them, so I'm just going to play this pretty conservatively. I don't think they can actually make it in with any reinforcements here, so... Move them there. Move you there. So might take an extra turn. So this is one of the disadvantages of this type of unit um, compared to just regular archers. But they do do a lot of damage. You have to be more careful about the train that you fight in, but you should be pretty careful about the train that you fight in regardless. So I, I find it doesn't affect my decision making that much as to which terrain I'm using uh, regardless of whether I'm using direct fire units or indirect okay where do I want them? yeah there's some gold in this territory so I might as well pick that up I actually have a decent amount of income now, so I could probably make some more trades. I 
That one's definitely not worth it. This one, probably worth it. I have some uh, science quarters from my last culture that are kind of lying around, so I'll get some immediate benefit from that. Let's grab rhetoric. I think they're war support, yeah. They're just dead next turn, basically. I'll claim a new wonder if I wanted. Alright, so we'll force their surrender. So I definitely want Napata because it has Pyramid. I really wish I could take all their territory. And I think I want this territory down here because it has double luxuries. So take Napata, take Algafar. That one, maybe not as important. I always just kind of grab it later. So let's take Kerma as well, given that it's the capital. And I think this territory looks the best developed. So we'll grab that, and that's all I can do. But we'll move to pillage these. And we're going to bring that guy up there, just in case they kind of come attack me. I'll have some reinforcements available. All right, Kerma. Man. Go ahead and buy that flood irrigation. I actually have a ton of money that I haven't been using. Any wonders worth claiming? Um, might save it, to be honest. Wow, I don't even have Pottery Workshop in here? Okay, they've been going hard on money. Which is fine. Scrub Stoneworks. Hmm. Considering what to build here. I should grab animal barns, I think. Just for a little extra food. Um, no. You're so far behind me, I would never see any benefit from that, my friends. Okay, let's drop it right there. This is for the luxuries pretty much exclusively. there. Sometimes the AI makes really baffling decisions about how they deploy, and that's one of them. Sixty old. I mean, it's not amazing at this point in the game, but I'll still take it. See how I'm doing on my era stars here. Man, 150 for another Diplomat Star. Feels like a lot. Uh, which it definitely is. It's pretty hard to generate these, these stars on this size of game. I'm going to grab that leverage first, actually. They seem like they're not going to chase after me as I pillage their stuff, so let's get to it. And I'm going to keep demanding stuff from them. I really see no reason to keep them in the game. All right. Some more luxuries over this way that we can go after. Ah, and they've settled that territory for some inexplicable reason. The guy likes to do that kind of shit sometimes. They're definitely going to settle a second city there, which is just bizarre, but... Okay, let's pick up Conquest and then Imperial Power, maybe. 
just to set up for the next era. Don't really have a strong case for any of the rest of them, so. Okay. Let's so make sure we're getting our basic industry in here. Wow, plus 20 industry from that. Yeah, I'm just gonna spend some money. Buy all that stuff. And let's start getting all that stuff. They want that science. Hmm. Honestly, my, my population isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be this game. Maybe start doing, like, science quarters up here? I feel like that makes sense, honestly. Let's go ahead and buy that. Get that infrastructure in here. And maybe attach here as well. Yeah, that makes sense. Do the paper mail first and then do the rest of that. Um, any civics I'm forgetting about? Oh, nothing important at the moment. Wish it would stop giving me that wonder notification every turn. A little bit more leverage there. So in the next era, I can start doing diplomatic ultimatums, which will get very annoying. Let's see, trade luxuries with orange, that's fine. Let's see what they have. They only have porcelain. I'm gonna refuse scientific correspondence uh, categorically with everyone. Because I suspect I'm ahead on tech for the most part. There's really no benefit uh, to me doing it for the time being. Okay, buy that paper mill. And down in Napata. And industry is not the best down here at the moment, but it's going expert. We're going to do that here. Get the artisan workshop, because that gives extra slots, which I, I will use at some point regardless. By that water mill as well. And, oh wow, that's a nice paper mill there. Thirty food there is pretty good. Yeah, we can move animal barns down here. I think. Okay, learning. Or fanatical, let's go for learning. I feel like I'm probably doing pretty well here. Does anyone reach second tier? No. I really like give alms and bear not false witness. They're pretty um, out of sync with the other ones, to be honest. They're, quite, they're substantially better than the, the other options in almost every situation. Yeah, oh, nice. There's a merchant star. Uh, probably my first, yeah. Don't think I'm getting more than that, this era. Hello. Oh, another Han player. That's 50%. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and enact that. Didn't realize they had any cultural influence over here. Here. We're going to want to claim this territory, but we're going to need that influence for the territories we're currently pillaging. Just got a free swordsman. Go ahead and park him in the city down there, just in case anything bad happens. And we'll go ahead and grab these luxuries. Start uh, exploring up this way. Wouldn't be bad to have more accesses to... Um, 
the luxury resources here either, or the strategic resources rather. Is there anything else I want to add into the queue here? I don't think so. Probably going to start building research quarters kind of out in this direction, I imagine. Though this area wouldn't be too bad for them either. See, here's the part where I really regret not taking the uh, stability on rivers <laughs> tenet. But, oh well. Sometimes uh, it's nice to not just play the exact same game every time, you know? Let's see. Okay. Should probably start making a few envoys to go collect random garbage for me. And yeah, forge in here for sure. Also gonna need some stability. What's this? Rebels? From Napata, I guess? Funny you can get rebels before you even have the chance to really recover stability after conquering a city, but... I can actually wait. Oh, red is... Um, but why did I do this? It's such bizarre behavior on the part of the AI. There's really no reason for them to be doing that kind of thing. I'm gonna have to shove them off that territory later. Okay, we can afford Placate, so we'll go with that. For a little stability boost. And then... Yeah, it's, it's going to recover fine. It's just taking a while. I mean, we will need the aqueduct at some point. I'll just put it in the queue for now. Yeah, make that demand. Are they diplomatic cooperation? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Give me leverage, please. Man, multiple Akaminids. Makes it a little harder to keep track of everyone, not gonna lie. Put these guys on Auto Explorer and they can run around and do things. curiosity down there too. Okay, black. What's that? Did I make those demands? That's the question. Um, no. Okay, so these guys seem intent on battling me now. I really don't like this position in the middle of the map. It's going to make it difficult for me later. I'm going to make those demands and see what they do. I really don't want them having a city in here. Coming progressively less diplomatic, but... Honestly, it's uh, the optimal way to play the game in most cases, so... Pick up there. Yeah, that looks okay. This guy's gonna shred the swords. There we go. So the Bulgarians will actually be really good for the way I'm playing next, because they get leverage for um, 
winning battles without taking casualties in that battle uh, as part of their, their legacy trait. Which obviously um, overlaps quite a bit with what I'm up to. A little worried about stability in here once I attach some of these territories. I'm going to build that aqueduct, I think. You're fine to relax for now. I should probably... I'm going to be at war with black. I should probably have a small defensive force up here. Okay. Let's grab fortifications just for that extra combat strength on uh, districts. Makes things a little more defensible. Not sure how feasible the rest of these stars are. I mean, 570 per turn. You know, that's like six turns there. Five turns. Diplomat star seems unlikely. Agrarian star, maybe. Militarist star, maybe. Keep going. Until I... I'm certain I actually want to go up an era. Yeah, not really interested in the lighthouse. Okay, can get a tenant. So, give alms or bear not false witness are basically the options. Um... I feel like I have a lot of market quarters uh, in Karma and Napata, so I'm going to get a lot of benefit from that right away. On the other hand, my, my science does feel somewhat slow, though I am on turn 71 and I'm almost through the classical, so... I'm going to go for Give Alms, I think, just because I have a lot of these market quarters over here already. Alright, let's see what we got. How am I doing on this? Need another 120. Seems pretty unlikely to me that I'm gonna get that. Yeah, we don't like those Akaminids. Uh, no, we don't want that. Okay. I'm going to set people up to kind of crush pink. You don't want them to exist anymore. One of the issues with um, large maps like this, though, is that it becomes very difficult to permanently eliminate someone from the game um, because there's always another territory that they can claim somewhere. I'm trying to be strategic about... That guy's just dead. About which um, places I actually claim, which territories I claim, because there are just so many, and it's going to inflate your costs a lot if you're just doing it constantly, right? like claiming every single territory. So like this one I still have on claims. Like it's not particularly valuable land, and that's fine, right? You don't have to claim every territory in the game. Just have to prioritize the actually useful ones. I probably grab artisan workshop. Need to think about stability in here soon. This is why um, stability on rivers is such a good tenet. Basically solves this problem for you at this point in the game. Really, the like the classical into the medieval is, is the point of time in which um, it starts to become an issue. Oops. Another two population. It's one turn there. One turn there. Can I move him onto something? Yeah. do that. Yeah, so I'll just need one turn for this last tech. So I can get the agrarian stars on the next turn. And I would need like another three turns after that for the merchant stars. Might be worth sticking around. Okay. Attach here. Yeah, okay. Didn't totally tank my stability.
Pretty nice paper mills. Let's go in there. And Unug. Um, oh, don't have the artisan workshop yet. We do need that. Probably need to start building garrisons soon. Though a barracks will be good. We will be building more units in here at some point. Thinking about connecting the city to this one rather than the Karma, I think that makes a little more sense. Okay, let's see what I can do to survive, which is pretty much nothing, I think, but maybe. No. Yeah, I don't think so, because horsemen don't get Zona controlled, so. Okay. See if I can establish contact here. And let's start investing some stuff. So this will be useful later in the game when the World Congress pops up. I think it can pop in Medieval, but maybe it's not until the, the next era. I actually don't remember. Alright. So there's my Agrarian Stars. I need one more turn for another Merchant Star. So I think that's worth losing just a single turn of science. I guess technically it would be two turns. Let's make those demands. I really don't want this random city in the middle of my what is really my territory. I haven't technically claimed it, but it's a really stupid position for the AI to be in. What do I have here? Let's uh, grab one of these. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, got a bit of a cough now. <coughs> See, let's go with uh, three swords here. Okay. Try to hold off declaring war until the next era. Just because then I'll have some uh, extra benefits from the Bulgarians. You can wait. You can wait. Alright, let's go ahead and end the turn. Alright. Um, let's go for overproductive for that extra industry. And... You don't need to be on food. Why are we on this policy? Let's do that. Okay, make sure we have those. And then... Oh, 26 gold. Yeah, yes please. I will take that. I'm gonna run a little low on here. Yeah, it's going to be time to start building garrison soon, I think. Going up there. We'll definitely be taking um, this, I think. Paid wages. Literally the moment I step over there. Oh my god. Yeah, these guys hate me. Oh. They really need more demands here. Um. Yeah, I mean, renouncing them doesn't really get me anywhere, so it's fine. Oh, uh... Okay, I don't care about those. I should have waited until the next turn to renounce those. I was not thinking about that. Um, these guys, right? Yep, just demand those. All right. Okay. 
Okay, let's make sure our stability seems fine in here. industry there is not bad but uh, I mean 368 yeah let's go for science I need the aqueduct too all right so Bulgarians um, we are gonna go up this turn I think yeah got that merchant star yeah, I mean, pretty solid era, all things considered, even though I don't have my primary stars. So the Bulgarians. Um, so you get plus five leverage against uh, an empire when you beat them without losing any units in a battle, basically. So that should come in handy, since I've kind of been doing that already. You get the Bagaturi, so uh, range unit, um, ranged cavalry, obviously. I don't know if they have indirect fire or not, but they get some bonus combat strength after ransacking. And then the Kenya's library. So this one's interesting because this will solve my stability issues. Actually, I didn't think about that. I didn't start. Yeah, let's take that out. So it has some base stuff. It counts as a commons quarter, and it gets plus one stability. St blah blah blah. Plus one stability per territory following your state religion, um, which can grow to be quite a big bonus later in the game. And you get some influence when you collect uh, leverage. So some interesting bonuses. Okay, let's make sure I actually take them. Boop. And there we go. So uh, next turn, or next episode rather, we'll start off in the medieval with the Bulgarians. And I'm going to take a look at the wonders that are available here, because there are a lot. Um, so we'll grab one of these before I end the episode. Great Mosque is pretty decent, honestly. Um, for this game, I think, because I'm yeah, I'm pretty far ahead of people. So just maintaining that faith advantage. Anchor Watts, uh, obviously. Um, Forbidden City is not bad. Great Zimbabwe is really good. I actually really like Great Zimbabwe. I feel like it's superior to most of these options in most cases. I'm going to grab Great, Great Zimbabwe. Um, I already have some money investments from other things, so I think it makes sense. All right. So um, thanks for tuning in. My empire continues to grow here, and it's going to continue to grow in the next episode, I think. So I'll see you then.